Newborn Blood Spot Screening Wales has produced this short film for sample takers working in neonatal units. It looks at aspects of newborn blood spot screening for babies who are being cared for in neonatal units and the additional requirements needed for screening these babies. All babies admitted to neonatal units are eligible for newborn blood spot screening. Information about the condition screened for can be found on the Newborn Blood Spot Screening Wales website. Babies who are admitted to a neonatal unit require more than one sample to complete the screening pathway. A pre-transfusion sample is required on admission and the routine screening sample is taken on day 5. If a baby is born at less than 32 weeks gestation, a repeat CHT sample at 28 days of age or on day of discharge is also required. Good quality blood spot samples are important to obtain accurate results. As you can see from this good quality sample, all four circles are filled and evenly saturated with blood. Each blood spot is made of a single drop of blood. To obtain a good quality sample, it is important to wait for the flow of blood towards the puncture site and to allow a large drop of blood to form. The blood should be allowed to drop onto the card and soak through to the back. Newborn blood spot screening is an invasive medical procedure and cannot be undertaken without informed consent from a parent or person with parental responsibility. To give informed consent, parents must have sufficient information and the opportunity to ask questions about the screening. This should be at least 24 hours before taking the sample. Parents may have been given a leaflet about newborn blood spot screening during the pregnancy. If not, the neonatal unit can provide one. There is also an easy read version of this leaflet available in neonatal units in Wales and on the website. When discussing blood spot screening with parents, it is important to explain that the blood spot section of the card will be securely stored for at least five years. The card could be used to check results or carry out other tests recommended by the baby's doctor. It can also be used for research to help improve the health of babies and their families in the UK. Parents may, in the future, be invited to take part in research. If they do not wish to be contacted to be invited to take part, tick the No Further Research box on the Bloodspot card. For every baby admitted to a neonatal unit in Wales at less than five days of age, counting day of birth as day zero, a pre-transfusion sample will be required. For this sample, one circle on the card should be filled with a good quality blood spot. It is important that the day 5 sample is not added to the three unused circles. This pre-transfusion sample will be used to screen for sickle cell disorders if a baby receives a blood transfusion during the period between admission and day 5 of life, when the routine day 5 blood spot sample is taken. If the baby requires a blood transfusion soon after admission, it is important that the pre-transfusion sample is taken before the transfusion is commenced. A pre-transfusion sample is required because the presence of transfused blood in a newborn screening sample can interfere with the interpretation of results. It is important that the card is labelled pre-transfusion to avoid confusion with the routine five-day sample and that all information fields are completed in full. All staff should be aware of the local policy for storing pre-transfusion samples before they are sent to the laboratory with a routine sample. If a baby is transferred to another unit before the day 5 sample is due, the pre-transfusion sample should be sent separately to the laboratory at the time of transfer. Record on the pre-transfusion card the name of the hospital and unit to which the baby has been transferred. This should be documented in the baby's notes and the transfer records. 
The receiving hospital will then know that a pre-transfusion sample has been taken and sent to the laboratory. The routine newborn blood spot screening sample is taken on day 5 of life, counting day of birth as day 0. Taking blood spot samples on day 5 means that babies with one of the conditions screened for can be referred early for diagnostic tests and treatment. If the IT system used in the neonatal unit records day of birth as day 1, this can lead to confusion when taking blood spot samples. If day of birth is counted as day 1 on the system, care must be taken to ensure all samples are taken on the correct day. It is important that all information fields on the blood spot card are completed accurately so that babies can be correctly identified and so that the card can be processed in the laboratory. The card should be completed at the time of sample collection. Mistakes and omissions are more common when cards are pre-filled. The NHS number is the only unique identifier for the baby and recording this on the blood spot card is mandatory. If a card with a missing, inaccurate or illegible NHS number is received in the laboratory, a repeat sample will be requested. Particular care is needed when documenting the NHS numbers of twins as they are more likely to be recorded incorrectly on the blood spot cards. Most of these errors occur when the wrong twin's NHS number is recorded. It is essential that the twins are correctly identified on the cards. All babies born at less than 32 weeks gestation require a second blood spot sample for preterm congenital hypothyroidism. This should be taken at 28 days of age, counting day of birth as day zero, or on discharge home, whichever is sooner. The sample is required because the routine blood spot test can be incorrectly negative because of the baby's prematurity. It is essential that the gestational age is recorded accurately on the blood spot card for a valid CHT result. Two filled circles are required on the screening card for the second CHT sample. CHT preterm should be recorded on the card. A baby which is discharged home before 28 days will require the second CHT sample to be taken on the day they are discharged, before they go home. It is essential to record on the card that the baby has been discharged home. If not, it will appear that the sample has been taken too early and the laboratory will request a repeat sample in view of this. The failsafe identifies babies in Wales who do not have a newborn blood spot screening sample in the newborn screening laboratory by day 14 of life, counting day of birth as day zero. The failsafe will also identify babies for whom repeat samples have been requested but have not been received by the laboratory in a specified time. There are three regional newborn screening administration failsafe teams who manage the failsafe. They are based in the South East Wales, Mid and West Wales and North Wales regions and cover all the health boards in Wales. These failsafe teams work separately from the Wales Newborn Screening Laboratory. The Newborn Screening Administration failsafe teams can also be contacted by sample takers to find out the NHS number for a baby if there is difficulty obtaining it prior to sample collection.